Due to the floods in Silhet, SSCLD equivalent examinations postponed across the country. Japan is one of the Bangladesh's most loyal friends and a development partner, said the Prime Minister. And the rap has arrested the serial rapist Muhammad Shamim Hossein Mrita from Uttara. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozer Roshan B2 in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Due to the floods in Silhat, the Ministry of Education has the SSC and equivalent examinations starting from June 19 across the country. The date of the test will be announced later. Meanwhile, heavy rains and landslides have worsened the flood situation in the Silhat region. Due to the flooding of Shuramganj Silhat Road, the road communication of Shuramganj with the rest of the country has been cut off. The overall flood situation in Guayankati Pazila of Silhat has a further deteriorated. The people of these areas feel that it is not possible to deal with the flood situation in Silhat City without digging the Shurma River to deal with the mountain slopes and heavy rainwater. The flood situation has also deteriorated in the northern districts. More than 50,000 people People are trapped in the water there. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that Japan is one of the Bangladesh's most loyal friends and the single largest development partner. She said this in a video message given on the occasion of a Shuburno Jayanti celebration in collaboration with JICA on Thursday. The Prime Minister said the father of the nation, Bangabuntu Sheikh Muzbi Rahman, laid the foundation of Bangladesh-Japan relations through his first visit to Tokyo in 1973. Japan-Bangladesh integrated partnership launched to take friendly relationships to new heads, ready to be developed into a strategic partnership in the new era future. Sheikh Hasina also remarked that Bangladesh is deeply grateful for the support and the contribution of Japan and its people in the war of liberation. Admission test of a Choi unit of a fine arts faculty of 2021 to 22 academic year of Dhaka University was held today. The general knowledge test of this unit is held for 30 minutes from 11 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. However, due to hostile weather and sudden rains, the examiners have to fall into extreme irregularities. Meanwhile, the video chancellor of Dhaka University, who came to inspect the examination hall, said that all shots of steps have been taken to compensate for the liberation loss of a corner's time in the education sector. Earlier, admission test for D unit was held on June 11, A unit on June 10, C unit on June 3rd, and B unit on June 4. Rab has arrested serial rapist Mohammed Shamim Hossein Ridha from Uttara in the capital for allegedly rapping a schoolgirl with a weapon at Badrahati in Pirojpur. In a press conference in the morning, Rab said that in the context of the case filed in this incident, the intelligence branch of Rab headquarters and an expedition team of Rab have arrested Shamim Hossein Ridha from Uttara of the capital at night. The arrested person has confessed to being involved in the incident. The price of a Pakistani cock chicken has come down to take a 40 per kg in the markets of the capital during the week. Despite the rain on holidays, the market is a crowd with shoppers. Market observation shows that prices of chicken and cucumber have come down. Vendors say that after the budget, they have to buy rice, pulses and well at higher prices from dealers. The price of powered milk has also gone up. However, the price of onion, garlic and ginger has come down. The price of fish has come down by 40 to 50 rupees per kg due to increases in import and monsoon. Meat prices remain unchanged. A fire broke out in Adumji EPZ of Shidri Ganj and Naran Ganj due to gas line lackage. 
Five units of fire service are working to control the fire. The fire broke out at 10.30 a.m. on Friday. Subsequently, the gas supply was cut off to reduce the intensity of the fire workers inside the EPs that have already been evacuated, and the Tita's authorities have cut off gas supplies from the main gas line. Meanwhile, gas supply to Narangonj and the surrounding areas will be cut off until the damaged gas pipeline is repaired. Complaining that the Awami League is urging the U.S. to take the BNP to the polls. BNP Joint Secretary General Mozam Mel Hossein Alal has said that the BNP is willing to go to the polls but will have to relinquish power and form a neutral government. He said this in a human chain at the National Press Club. He also said that there was no food in the stomach of the people, but the government was joking with the people by celebrating the Padma Breeze. Viewers now international news. Two people were killed and a third wounded in a shooting at a church in a suburb of Biramgam, Alabama, Thursday night, police said. A suspect who hasn't been named is in custody. The West Abia Health Police Department said it received a call of an active shooter at St. Stephen's Apostle Church at approximately 6.22 p.m. local time. On Thursday night, West Abia Health Police Captain Shane Werner told reporters that three people were shot to die and the third was being treated at a hospital. There was no initial word on the person's condition. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Due to the floods in Silhat, SSC and Equal Valid examinations postponed across the country. Japan is one of Bangladesh's most loyal friends and development partner, said the Prime Minister. Rap has arrested the serial rapist Mohammed Sham Hossein Rita from Uttara. Two people were killed and are one wounded in a shooting at a church in Alabama of USA. And Bangladesh were 103 all out of fewer than 33 overs on the first innings of Antigua Test. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT News. And to watch all your programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.